Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I have got a very cool 1969 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray to show you. This is a great car, but I'm going to say this right up front. This is not a numbers matching car. This would have originally had a 427 in it. It now has a 454, and in fact, it's bored 30 over. That makes it a 468 cubic inch, but wow. What an engine, what a drivetrain, nice paint, nice interior, everything works. I'm very excited about this car, and I'm really excited to show it to you. So let's get started, talk a little bit about the paint. Now, this is bright red, and I know how it is when you're looking at a red car on the camera. It may look orange to you, but this is, in fact, bright red, kind of a torch red, if you're familiar with that on the Corvettes, the newer Corvettes. Uh, this is an L88 hood, and it's to my understanding, this is a real L88 hood, an actual L88. You can see the depth there in the paint. This is a base coat, clear coat paint. Paint's been on it many, many years, maybe 25 years. Um, you know, and then, of course, you've got the, the gills down here, and there's little chrome inserts. That kind of makes it look nice. Take a look at these factory-style side pipes. Beautiful chrome. Excellent. You're not going to believe how it sounds. I mean, we're going to we're going to start it up here in a little bit, and you're going to hear hear it uh, start, and we'll drive it around a little bit. Let me take you. Notice this too, and this is something else I'm going to show you. I've been around a lot of these uh, C3s, and I mentioned this on the uh, website. But look at this. I mean, is that tight or what? Usually you get guys clanging around and stuff, but not this car. This car is very tight. I'll take you in on the interior. All the weather stripping is still nice and pliable. Nice door panels, very clean. Now, uh, the seats were originally a vinyl seating, but now they have been changed out to leather seating. Very comfortable. They've been completely rebuilt and so forth. Carpet's nice. Beautiful console. Again, Everything works. There's so many little aspects about this Corvette that I really kind of need to tell you about. Uh, there's small things, but you know, a lot of times those small details, well, the way that closes, nice shut lines, uh, you know, could kind of speak to how the car was taken care of. And I'll give you an example I'm talking about. I know it's a small thing, but you know, originally you had to put this car in reverse to get the key out. Well, everybody gets rid of that rod in there that's a reverse lockout. This one still has it, so you have to put it in reverse to get the key out. Uh, things like that, you know, it's just been so well treated, so well taken care of. Uh, all the accessories work, the heater, the wipers, uh, all the lights work, the headlights, of course. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, even down in here is nice and clean. All the chrome is nice. Another thing, this is a radio delete car. So there is no radio in this car. There's just the Corvette block off play. Of course, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to listen to the radio anyway on this car. The the music is gonna be, you know, coming from that big block in these side pipes. And believe me when I tell you, <laughs> that's all you're gonna want to listen to when you hear this thing. It's beautiful. Uh 158, 15 by 8 Corvette rallies with nice Goodyear Eagle GT2 tires on them. All but new. Uh, of course, you've got the removable roof panels here. This car does not leak. I'll take you in the interior on this side. And you can hear the little buzzer working with the key. See what I mean? All that. Uh, this is a tilt column and a telescopic column. So that was optional with the Corvette, of course. All the gauges work. 6,500 RPM tachometer. Very clean, very tight everywhere. I don't know if I can get you in the, the back seat here, maybe, or the back area. There's no back seat, but the back cargo area. Just to see that back there. Looks nice.
pop the hood for you here. This side closes nice too. Again, nice shut lines. Beautiful chrome thick. Nice chrome on those side pipes. Take a look at that. Can't get enough of that. Stingray call out here. Let's move around to the front. Just want to show you, you know, the front bumper and, and your lower pieces here. Nice. Chrome down in here is nice. It's a great car. You want to, you want a Corvette that you can actually enjoy and not worry about, you know, all oh, the numbers matching. I better leave it in the garage. This is perfect. Let me take you under the hood. Again, I believe this is a uh, an original L88 hood. So uh, you can see its induction system there. And of course, the L88 had this style of air filter. Uh, I believe in 1969 there were 116 L88 Corvettes made, so there weren't too many. You see them at the auctions going for a half a mil plus. Uh, this is a very nicely built, very well built engine. Uh, full roller cam, it's hydraulic, uh, aluminum manifold, nice headers that feed into the side pipes, uh, power steering, again power steering, power four wheel disc brakes, electronic ignition. Very clean, nice radiator, no overheating issues. Even the trenches you might see over here and down, you know, these are usually kind of, you see these on a lot of Corvettes kind of beat up, but not this one. This car has been very well taken care of. All the glass is nice. What I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the car, we'll start it. Now you'll you know you'll hear it start, and man, it just sounds great. And I, you know, I can't really take you on a spin, <laughs> you know, but uh, it just takes too long. But I'll, I'll just kind of drive it around the parking lot a little bit here, uh, you know, just my parking lot, so you can kind of you know see what it looks like when it's moving. But it sits nice and low, it sits nice and even. Uh, you know, I know I'm kind of going on and on here, but I'm here to tell you. This is a spectacular Corvette. Whoever gets this car, man, I'm already envious. stand it shut it off just love hearing it let me tell you something about this car you know a lot of times a car is built with big cams and so forth and it makes them cumbersome to drive you know like in a situation where you're pulling into a car show and the thing's overheating or you know it just kind of loads up because the camshaft is too big but you know what <laughs> this car you can take anywhere and just let it sit there and idle if you want to I wouldn't recommend it anyway but the point is Everything is just dialed in on this car. It runs so good. It's such a nice car. Uh, the door handles here that you grip, those work nicely. Uh, you know, it, it, uh, I can't say enough about it. It's great. Emergency brake works. Everything works. It's just a spectacular car. But if I can answer any further questions for you, 
about this 69 Stingray, don't hesitate to give me a call. My name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.